there is a 20% chance that a company won't make it past the first year. In between two and five years, the rate become wider to 50%. Less than 10% of businesses make it through their first decade in operation. Only one in 10 businesses have the ability to go further. You will leave this video with a list of 10 companies that have been around for centuries and will still be operating for a long after you have passed on. Today, you will find out what all of these businesses have in common. This list has 10 businesses that are likely to be around for a long time. So let's get straight into it. Number one, food businesses. This covers the whole food industry from growing and processing food to packaging and selling it. In every country on earth, people eat. They have been doing this for thousands of years and they will probably go in two for a thousand more. In this year, people already spent $8.7 trillion on food, and that is a 15% increase from the last year. Here's how spending on food in different parts of the market will change over the next few years. There are more people ordering food online than there used to be. It is important to know that restaurant owner makes on average $24,000 a year and give or take $5,000. Number two, residential development. People cannot live in the wild for a long time without getting food or a place to sleep. Because of this, our second goal is to build a private homes and habitat for humanity. People are needed to build them. There is a pressing need to buy or sell or rent or even dispose real estate. There are a lot more people in the world than there used to be. As the medicine gets better, people in general live longer. All of them will need place to sleep in order to live. And you should know that real estate developers, typical profit margin is between 25 and 35% for big projects and between 45 and 65 for smaller ones. Obviously, this is not the whole story, but it should give you an idea of what's going on. You don't have to work in construction to make money in the house market. Real estate usually goes up in value by three to 6% every year if a rental property is closer to the city center or in a more desirable area it's more likely to cover its mortgage cost in less than 10 years you can buy a home once and then rent it out for someone who can pay the mortgage number three pharmacy people require pharmaceuticals and medical equipment in the past you had to go to the local healer to get a special tea blend paracetamol is now sold with cough syrup and pills make hair grow back. It is not surprising that pharmaceutical companies make a lot of money when a lot of people are sick. But even before 2019, a pharmacist who owned a single pharmacy made around $150,000 a year on average. Even after paying for utilities, a licensed worker, and other costs, you will still have more than $80,000. Businesses that do well, like pharmacies and restaurants, have used franchise models to their own advantage. Most of the time, it costs between $200,000 and $300,000 to open a new pharmacy. The next time you go outside, count how many pharmacies you can find. You will be shocked by what you see. Number 4. Transportation definitely a game changer. People need to get from point A to point B. And also, it is better if you can finish the tax as quickly as possible. We will ignore the manufacturing part since we are not likely the ones who start making cars or ships out of nowhere. But there are some interesting patterns we have seen. From that, I've heard the first quarter of 2021 was the most profitable quarter in the history of container shipping. The most surprising thing, though, is how quickly profits have gone up. The shipping companies is expected to have made around $200 billion in profits by 2023. It is just like sending things by boat. You have a lot more options for shipping from land. And here's how the math works. Usually, each truck makes between $4,000 and $10,000 per week. The owner, who is also the manager of the business, can make anywhere from $2,000 to $5,000 per week for each truck, can make between $500 and $2,000 per week. Most trucks cost between $125,000 and $150,000.
The average hourly wage for Uber driver is between eight and twelve dollars. People are making money by buying cheaper cars and then hiring drivers to drive around in areas with a lot of traffic, where full-time drivers can make more than $50,000 per year. But if you take a step back and look at the big picture, you will see that Uber drivers don't make much money. A recent study found that because most drivers don't do it full-time, they only make on average $300 per month. But shipping will always be a profitable business, no matter what it takes. Number five, commerce. Buy cheap and sell expensive is the goal of every business out there. Some people may buy other people's resources or goods or even services. When you buy something cheap and sell it for profit, you are taking part in commerce because money is changing hands. Whatever it is, it will change your life forever. But most people have a misconception of what this means, but only when it hits that when they realize they can never work again for another person. Here's our three things about businesses that you need to know. First step is to get a product and then package it and then find a client who is in high demand and is willing to pay more than you did. I promise that wherever you are in this world, you will always be able to find good business opportunities. You only need to remember one rule. You make money when you buy, not when you sell. The key to making money is to buy goods at a discount and then sell them to customers who are willing to pay full price. That is where almost everybody goes wrong. They buy something at the going price with the plan of selling it for more. Number six, weddings or events and funerals. The following things will always be true. People are born, then grow up, then live and die. It is how life works. The cycle of life is pretty much the same for every person. As long as you can find a way to use this cycle in your business, you will always have customers. People love to spend their extra money on parties and events. By 2030, the market of wedding services is expected to be worth almost $500 billion. On the other side of the cycle, people are making a lot of money from funerals. You might be surprised to learn that the average funeral in the US costs between $7,000 to $12,000 with a profit margin of between 30% and 60%. Now, it is one of those businesses, but keep it on your mind. You talk to people who have been through one of the world's things in their lives. If you do this business for a long time, it might affect your mental health. Number seven, loans and financial services. Funding is an important part of society. Some people need to keep an eye on their money. It is sure that people who work in finance can make money. All of the information in this video is about businesses that will always be around, no matter what it takes. People will always need money as long as they have enough collateral. And because of this, banking and insurance and safekeeping will be popular all the time. When dealing with money, you have to use numbers. The experiment is done again and again until a certain amount of money is made or lost. And this is how the banking business got so stinking rich. And even if crypto does take over the current financial system, that won't change anything. And again, all the important things will still be there. Number eight, hotels. Hotels are a unique type of property. There is no secret that we enjoy staying at hotels and we've been fans ever since we were young children playing Monopoly. Hotels in great locations almost make money on their own. As time goes on, prices for a single evening will go up and now you can enjoy the two big things in the world. Both the building's value and the business's value are going up quickly and you can have a steady stream of money coming in. The gross profit margin changes from year to year, but it usually stays between 30 and 40 percent. Hotels make an average of 65 percent of their money from people renting rooms and 25 percent from selling food and drinks and 15 from selling other goods and services. But some hotels are part of bigger businesses like casinos and they can benefit more from these kind of events. Number nine, energy. 
Energy is an important factor to the growth of society as a whole. Since 1970s, coal and oil and gas have been the main sources of energy. Electricity has taken the place of other fuels as a source of power. The need for energy have steadily grown over time. While the ways to make it have changed, the goal has not. Almost everything we do in the modern world runs on electricity. We already use digital currencies and drive electric cars and do businesses in the virtual world. All of these will need a lot of energy to operate. And over the past five years, the average operating gross profit in the hydropower sector was 45.4%. And you can find ways to generate electricity. Find ways to generate electricity and then sell it back to the utility company. Number 10, Telecom. The evolution of telecom was fixed line phones at the first, and then mobile phones, and then satellites, and now we have the internet, and we are not sure what comes next. So, there is money to be made in communication, and there is will be. It is no surprise that some of the richest people in the world work in the telecom industry. Carlos Slim Hello was the richest person in the world for three years because of the huge business in telecommunications. In the beginning of your businesses, you probably won't send satellites into space, but that doesn't mean data isn't important. Find out if a job in data security, which is one of the industries that is growing the most quickly, is good fit for you. Technology has taken center stage. Take a look at how many of the top 100 have maintained their positions for extended periods of time. This is the way to create sustainable companies. Hope that your financial situation remains evergreen if you've watched this entire video and commented on it. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I selected this video for you to so watch next. Or you can always check out the rest of the content on my channel. And I will see you in the next video.